y'all, it's Debbie, your girl with pearls. And today we're gonna work on my Christmas hot cocoa bar. I'm actually going to start decorating the kitchen for Christmas. And I'm so excited to share my theme with you this year. So come along. First, I'm gonna start by cleaning. Nothing like starting with a clean slate. Okay, so we've got a few things um, in place already. I've got the sleigh that I'm gonna use for the cocoa bar, so I have some um, height. And then I've got my tiered tray, and then the cute um, hot cocoa sign. And I've got a couple of other things that I'm gonna add in. This is my rooster tray, but I'm gonna cover it. And I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna use that for the cups. And then this is a cute little snowflake and I'm gonna cover the plug with that. Okay. So now, oh, look at these adorable cups I got. These were Walmart, under $4 a cup. I just absolutely thought they were so precious for a cocoa bar. I got them for everybody in the family. <laughs> I'm gonna lay these down. I made these out of fabric years ago, um, and I'm just gonna use them to cover up that rooster, because we don't wanna see the rooster at Christmas time. And that will give us a nice little backdrop here. And I got four of these cute little cups. That way if my son and his wife are here, we can all have the same cup. And I got a couple of different kinds of hot cocos and they came in these cute little Christmas trees, different flavors. Um, this is an almond, roasted almond cocoa mix. So I thought that was cute. I'm just gonna stick that right there. And then I have this cute Merry Christmas y'all sign because I always say y'all. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna stick that right here. Yeah, that looks cute. Merry Christmas y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, what next? Okay, let's work on the tea and tray. I've got this cute little Santa's milk. You know, it's, it's hard to find things for the top of that tea tray because it's so small. And this is a cute little, this is actually an ornament that I had for my son. It says hot cocoa with the marshmallows in it. I'm gonna use that up here. That looks cute. And, hmm, let's see, maybe I'll do, this is a double chocolate truffle cocoa mix. This will be delicious. And stick that back here. Yeah, that's cute. And down here, something. Oh, I have this cute hot cocoa sign, served nightly. So I'm gonna stick that there. And, hmm, oh, gotta use my sign that I made. If you saw my tutorial on that, baby, it's cold outside, warm up here with some hot cocoa. And I have a tutorial on that, I'll link it as well. I'm gonna stick that right here. And um, I have this cute peppermint tree. I've had for years a candy cane um, theme and, and candy theme in my kitchen, so I've got a lot of that. And then I've got a cute Christmas mug. Those are my colors. And I'm just gonna stick some Draws in them. Use those for stirs. And let's see, let's see. Okay, 
I've got some a cute napkin holder. It says, have a cup of cheer. So I'll stick that right here. Now let's work on the sleigh. The sleigh. Um, oh. This was something I purchased this year for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Is that not the cutest little cup too? The cups this year were adorable. Let's stick that here. And I've got on one of my videos, my daughter-in-law and Mimi and I made our own chocolate spoons. Whoops, I just dropped one. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? So I'm just gonna stick those in there. Now this is a peppermint hot cocoa mix. So we've got different kinds for different people's taste. And I have this cute little cocoa sign, Merry and Bright. I'm just gonna stick that right there. I got this a couple years ago. Isn't this cute? It's a chocolate kind of day. Isn't every day a chocolate kind of day? <laughs> I'm just gonna stick that right there front of the little tree. Now I have this cute plate. I'm gonna stick that right there. And what I have are these containers I got from the Dollar General. And I'm gonna fill them with the marshmallows and things like that, so. Cause you gotta have, oops. Run away marshmallows. Could have marshmallows with your cocoa. At least I have to. All right, and they have these cute little covers for them. So that, and I got the peppermint marshmallows too. I'll tell you what, these are delicious. I love peppermint and hot cocoa. I always put a candy cane to stir it as well. But when I saw these marshmallows, I said, I have to have both. My husband likes plain and simple, but I like the peppermint one. So we're gonna have each have a choice. can't have a hot cocoa bar without some hot cocoa kisses. <laughs> I don't know if those are new this year from Hershey. I've never seen them before, but I've already tasted them and they taste just like hot cocoa. They're delicious. But I thought that's just a nice little treat to have alongside your cocoa. And then at Trader Joe's, I found these hot chocolate sticks. They're dark chocolate and it's actually a stir and it melts into your hot chocolate. So I thought those would be delicious as well. I didn't know these, these were in little packages. Oh, they're like a little candy. Here we go. How cute is that? Alrighty. And then I had some wooden spoons. They've got little red lines on them. I thought those were cute as additional stirs. I'll stick them in over here with these if somebody doesn't want a chocolate stirrer. And then I splurged this year and got the cocoa container at Walmart. I think this is so adorable. I had to have this for my cocoa bar. I've had a cocoa bar for years and I just thought this was so cute. And I'm just stringing some red and white pom-poms there. And then I made these. Um, these are just red and white um, string. 
and then I just got the pom-poms from the Dollar Tree and I just sewed them on together. So I'm gonna use those as well to string through.